Hi everybody, I'm Coach Ali and this is Steph. Welcome to our Blast Interval Training with Dumbbells series. This series is all about burning maximum calories by using your dumbbells to create sensible HIIT workouts that can help you get shredded. As you know, we're all about bringing you the most effective home dumbbell workouts. So just train along with us in the comfort of your own home and let's level up our game together. Today's Blast Interval Training Home Dumbbell Workout would comprise of a focused strength training component and a holistic full body cardio and core component in order to complete your interval training supersets using your dumbbells. Blast series is made up of 40 seconds strength training plus 25 seconds cardio and core training. We'll cycle through the superset three times to get your heart rate up and your muscles pumping. Applying this method of interval training will allow us to burn maximum calories in the shortest time possible and deliver the high yield, low risk workouts we always aim for on this channel. When this type of physical output is coupled with a calorie controlled diet, we can really start to see the body fat disappear like it's nobody's business. Before we get started, I wanted to give a shout out to our channel members. Your support of our content enables us to keep producing workouts for everybody on YouTube. So thank you very much for supporting us and enabling us to support you. If you're new to the channel and you're interested in becoming a channel member and getting access to all of the workouts in this series, then be sure to hit the join icon and let us take your body transformation to the next level. All right, that's enough talking from us. Let's get started with our blast interval training home dumbbell workout. Let's, Let's go. go. These are alternate bent over dumbbell rows. They're an excellent addition to your home dumbbell workouts. Start in the hinge, make sure that your back's remaining nice and flat. Your hands are in a neutral position in front of your shins and then pull those rows up to your ribs one at a time, making sure that you're keeping your elbows tucked in. Look for full range of motion. For your cardio exercise, we're gonna work some squats with hips abduction. Make sure your feet are parallel at shoulder width. Drop down into your squat. Try to keep your posture as upright as you can. And then when you hit that abduction, make sure the dynamic leg, the swinging leg remains nice and straight.
Let's continue our dumbbell calorie burning with some rotating rows. This starts in a hinge with your knees marginally bent, your back nice and flat, and try to keep your upper body close to horizontal if you can. When your arms are relaxed in front of you, your palms are facing your shins, and then you're rotating 180 degrees and pulling those dumbbells all the way up to your ribs. Make sure your elbows remain tucked in by your sides. For the cardio exercise, we're gonna work some squats with alternate side knee strikes. Those knee strikes are coming from outside of your elbow, so they're not just working your hips, they're also working on your obliques as well. This is a bent over dumbbell hammer row and it's an excellent inclusion in your hip workout to get shredded. It looks like a T row with a neutral hand position. So drop the dumbbells down together at the bottom of the exercise, then pull them up nice and wide, maintaining the neutral hands. 
So you'll get this in your lats, but you'll really get it in your rhomboids and in the back of your shoulders as well. For the cardio exercise, we're going to work some squats with a floor touch. You can see we're alternating those floor touches, lefts and rights, and then making sure that our squat is nice and deep and just trying to keep your upper body relatively upright. Let's continue your dumbbell calorie burning with some alternate renegade rows. You can see I'm starting in a push-up position and then steadily working those renegade rows one side at a time, making sure that I'm bringing the dumbbell all the way to my ribs and keeping my elbows tucked in. For a modified variation, you can see Steph doing it on her knees. So if you can't hold up the push-up, do it from a four points position instead. For the core exercise, we're doing some alternate jackknifes, but you can see we're doing it with a different hand position. We're starting in the extended position. 
So this is just gonna make it a little bit more challenging. Make sure you meet in the middle. So the upper abs and the lower abs should do the same amount of work. For the strength component of your interval training with dumbbells, we'll work some left side reverse hammer flies. Start with a nice lengthy stance and again, make sure that your upper body is supported using your forearm close to your knee. Then it's a lateral raise until you've got a straight line from your shoulder to your dumbbell. So we don't want momentum throughout this exercise. We'll do some alternate uppercuts for the cardio. So this will be a good opportunity to get your heart rate up. You can see that we're using our hips and we're pivoting off our feet. Stay nice and light on the ball of your foot and just alternate left and right as far as your uppercuts are concerned.
For this one, we've switched over and we're working some right reverse hammer flies. The form guide is still the same. Make sure it's a lengthy lunge and make sure your upper body is supported using your forearm. Make sure your arm is nicely extended with a soft straight elbow. And again, working from the vertical relaxed position until your arm is nice and horizontal. For the cardio component, we'll work some alternate jabs. Stay nice and light on your toes. Use your hips and shoulders movement and throw out your lefts and rights and just have some fun with it. Exhale as you're throwing those jabs and stay nice and light on your toes. This is a traditional dumbbell bent over T-row. So you start in that relaxed position with your body hinge, making sure your back's remaining nice and flat and your hands are facing your shins. 
will maintain the hand position as you pull the tea rose up. At the top of the exercise, you should create a straight line from elbow to elbow. This is a fantastic exercise for the back of the shoulders and the upper middle back. For your cardio exercise, we'll work some reverse lunges with a floor touch. Make sure your lunges are nice and lengthy and make sure you're getting low enough to touch the ground. Keep your feet at shoulder width. That's going to help you with your balance. And let's try to keep a good pace throughout this cardio component. Well done for finishing your blast dumbbell interval training workout at home and progressing through our intense calorie burning series. If you enjoyed your workout with us, then please give us a thumbs up and let us know how you did today. We're always interested in reading your comments and learning more about you. If you're finished working out for today, then you should consider cool down stretching with our physio Daphne. There's a link of her stretching playlist at the end of this video, so be sure to check it out. 
As always, thank you for training with Coach Ellie and I. We look forward to bringing you another blast calorie burning hip dumbbell workout shortly. Take care of yourselves and each other.